Sodium is like a fine girl. When she just walks into the room, everybody's like, guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi i'm chilima this channel is all about living a balanced and healthy lifestyle through sharing our experiences so you know it's not just my channel it's our channel so if you're interested in this type of content make sure you like this video comment subscribe and Turn on your notifications because I have so many things in store for you guys. So you guys, today's video is going to be all about things you definitely do not know about weight loss. Doing these things were a game changer. When I was on my 7 kg with about 15 pound weight loss journey. Tell me if you actually knew these things or not because I'm very sure that you never knew these things. Like 100% sure. If you actually know these things, I promise I'm going to send five naira to your bank account don't worry it's actually going to be a very chilled video i just want us to talk the first one is about body composition body composition is a especially when you do not understand body composition very well basically body composition is just what your body is made of what your body is composed of in our body we have fats we have muscle we have water all these things contribute to our weight so you might be like, I really want to lose weight And then you're stepping on the scale And then like one month later, you just see that you've only lost like 1 kg That's like 2.2 pounds And you're like, I'm doing every single thing right I am eating well, drinking well, sleeping well, exercising well Everything's in place, so why am I not even noticing any results after a month? What I just want to tell you guys is that there is something called body composition So I'll actually be losing fat and gaining muscle and you will not know muscle also has weight looking at the scale and like why am i not losing weight before you give up chill go and check those clothes eh, that you used to wear one month ago how, how are they fitting you now this is why we really really need to be taking progress pictures they are so important because like they really help us know that okay is this thing actually working am i actually losing fat to get if you can't see that much of a difference you actually really not lost any fat calm down at least you have progress any progress whether small or big is still very very good at least you're not where you were a few months before or a month ago or a week ago a day ago you're trying and striving to be a healthier person that is the important thing just understand your own body like i said in my last video let's check it out after i watch this one the second one is about hit yeah in case you don't know what heat exercises are heat stands for high interval intensity training there are different types of heat exercises like tabata etc you have really short rest periods between each set so you're just like going from one to another it's actually very helpful in building both muscle and at the same time burning fat although they are very very good doing it too much can actually be more detrimental than helpful before you kill me let me explain this is why because of just one wonderful hormone called your cortisol hormone also known as your stress hormone like you notice when you're very stressed you start gaining barely fat yeah you remember mm -hmm. so doing it a lot really increases your cortisol hormone for a long period of time because it can feel that your body is stressed so at the end of the day you don't end up actually losing that much weight you start getting issues you start getting increase in belly fat your constipation will actually become top notch like you'll be having very bad bowel movement this is why they, people keep saying that oh when you're losing weight make sure, make sure you're resting or generally make sure you're resting if you want to lose weight make sure you sleep it's also because of the same cortisol hormone don't worry you guys i'm going to be making a video on all these hormones that want to destroy us and be enemies of progress don't worry it's fine I, I got you so you do not want to be doing heat exercises every single day you should limit it to at most two times a week like at most the third thing <laughs> the third thing you guys need to know is that 
weight loss is the easy part <laughs> for real you guys should start planning in advance for when you're done with your weight loss and weight maintenance is now the goal that's why i keep on saying that you know, make sure this is a lifestyle that you're ready to continue with make sure you choose habits that you like because trust me weight loss is the easy part when you're maintaining your weight it's like you're five steps forward and then a thousand steps backwards you need to plan in advance for this where you be on that same cycle of okay you're going to lose 10 kg today you're going to gain 20 kg tomorrow and the weight just keeps fluctuating unnecessarily the fourth one yeah is going to be about bloating 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 is a I know I've said that um what I said was before what body composition was but bloating is is worse like bloating is bloating is horrible when you start your weight loss journey you know you usually start eating more fiber you start eating more healthy things and your body is not used to that so your body's like hold up wait a minute so your body's like hold up what's going on like why what was what's inside me what's infesting my normal space because with what you eat you end up having a particular bacterial flora in your body and bacteria is so important in processing your food so you've been eating a lot of greasy food and you just end up stopping there's a particular bacteria that processes those greasy foods and now you're eating something healthy the body is trying to like you know understand what's going on and one of the consequences of this is bloating you just end up bloating because what it doesn't just get it and you now look at the scale it's nonsense and you feel so discouraged and then you give up my dear don't give up my dad be bloated yeah god it was just for me it was really bad i was not just bloated i was also constipated i would not be able to use the toilet for like a week and I was always like, I thought I'm being healthy. I thought I'm doing something right. I shouldn't, now that I'm even eating vegetables, shouldn't I be, you know, he's going frequently to the toilet and everything. It was so painful also. And after research and everything, I realized that, oh, first of all, bloating is a normal body process. A lot of people bloat. Second of all, I've been eating a lot of rubbish for a very long time. So my body has now gotten used to processing that rubbish. So now that I'm eating normal things, I'm now getting bloated and constipated because my body is not processing it. Like it's just it's just there, stagnant, staying there. Yeah. So one thing you should know is that bloating is a very, very possible bloating and constipation. It will bastardize your mind. I don't know what that means, but you get me. The fifth one is your hormone regulation. Hormone regulation is very important. Yes, eating in a light calorie deficit is very important, but your hormone regulation is also extremely important as well. Let me just give you some hormones. Insulin hormone, you will know it as the sugar processing hormone, but it's actually also your fat storing hormone because that's how it processes sugar. When there is too much glucose in your bloodstream it takes it into your glycogen stores in the liver and then from there if it's now if your liver cannot hold it anymore it takes it into your fat cells also known as your adipose tissue so if insulin is present at elevated levels it's not going to be burning any fat like you get so again i'm going to talk about these hormones in the future so we really understand how to stop making them irritate our senses then your another hormone again is your cortisol hormone i mean you need to regulate that thing you need to sleep well you need to you need to not be so stressed you need to really regulate your cortisol hormone what else is gonna just say hi it, it, tell me below if you know the song i was trying to sing in a very horrible way in case you don't know Rema is going to be so embarrassed that one of his fans singing such nonsense about his songs the sixth one is water weight you guys so understand that there is something like water weight raise up your hands in the comment section how many of you have started on a weight loss journey in the first 
two weeks or so we are losing about three kg i like whoop i'm doing a lot and after that you're just like um where is the weight you're not losing any weight again let me do something my dear is there's something like water weight your water weight is water in your body that has weight which is basically all the water in your body so you know when usually when you're eating all these greasy foods they contain a lot of sodium and wherever sodium is water follows let me explain it this way sodium is like a fine girl and then when she just walks into the room everybody's like they rush towards her that is what sodium is like so imagine the girl now goes out of the room i'm going to leave too now because the girl is not there the girl the girl, the, the girl is too pink and she, she's no longer there so why are they there for like for what what are they looking for that's literally the same way sodium is so once you stop eating those greasy foods and things like that excess water weight usually leaves your body and you now really think you're losing weight yes you're losing weight but you're not actually losing fat which is our major aim so don't give up you have to understand that there is something like water weight so we have to calm down don't rush <laughs> this is my outfit for my next video which is on how skipping meals can actually be causing you to gain weight so if you like this type of content make sure you subscribe turn on the notifications like and comment down below what you think of this video because i'm going to be back with that hot gist on friday see you guys on friday bye so you really think i was going not nah, fam i just wanted to go and drink water let's drink water by the way i changed my bottle because my mother sees that cup if you've not seen the cup i'm talking about check out my video okay you'll be able to see it